definitely hard. I will do anything to have my dogs back. A Spring Valley man is pleading for whoever stole his car with his beloved dogs inside to return them. New at 11, ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill spoke with this man about what he's doing to try to find his cherished pups. <laughs> this is Winston, a French bulldog who happens to be one of Braden Frederick's precious pups. Braden got Winston on what he thought was an April Fool's joke while doing notary work for a couple two years ago. They ended up giving him to me and I just fell in love and he was my best friend. I noticed he was fast and I was like, okay, let's see what you got. Braden would find out just how fast the Frenchie is. In fact, he's so fast that he broke a world record in 2020. On Tuesday afternoon, something heartbreaking happened to this special dog. Frederick says Winston and his other dog, Xena, a deaf Boston Terrier, were inside his 2014 Toyota Camry when the car was stolen. I had direct vision of my car. I left the AC on because they're Frenchies and Boston Terriers, they overheat. At first, I couldn't believe it. The dog's owner immediately called 911 and began looking for anything that could show what happened to his beloved dogs. He shared this surveillance video with us that he got from a nearby beauty salon of the man he says stole his car with the dogs inside. He decided to just get in my car with my dogs knowing full well what the consequences could be. Braden says he's been driving around a car someone loaned to him looking for Winston and Xena getting next to no sleep and hoping for the best. For a while, I was just trying to occupy where my brain was going with whatever I could. Whether that's just a random video, not looking at pictures of them. It's really hard. It's definitely hard. As this man looks for answers, he's asking anyone with information to come forward and for other pet owners to not put themselves in his situation. Please don't keep your dogs in your car. If you see mine, please just reach out. Police, me, the news stations, anyone, anywhere. I beg of you. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News. And that's what we're here for. Well, Frederick says he has filed a police report with the San Diego police. If you see them, he says his Boston Terrier has two different eye colors.